Right, let's actually get something done today. Plague City. That's going to be my goal. So I need Snape Grass. The last time I went there, though, I nearly lost my hardcore status. There's no way I'm going back there without my armor on. So I'm bracing myself and then they uh, don't even attack me now. Um, okay. Right, last item. Bucket of milk. I went right inside this car to get it. And then let's go and start this quest. Step one. Dig a hole just to fall down it. Then we play tug of war with this gate and climb on through. I had to give this guy a hangover cure and a bucket and open a door for this girl Elena. I had to climb back up the muddy hole that had just fallen through and Plague City was completed. Right, keep going. Next goal, biohazard. I have to kill something for this quest. I'm stacking up on cakes and heading off to battle. This guy let me climb his ladder then I made my way over to fight for my life and I hesitated for a long time. He got the first hit in and the second and I kept hitting zeros until bam big two and about four cakes and 40 minutes in i finally hit the last blow and that sweet sweet victory was mine i went back to this guy for a boost over the wall got a free costume dressed up as a priest talked to the king and finally the quest was complete then i had to spend some time restocking my cake stack and then i continued my day of questing with sea slug I stopped off for some swamp paste and then started the quest. Traveling to the fishing platform, I had to operate the cranes, lift a child up through the air, and apparently that was all that this woman wanted because that was the quest complete. I'm not stopping there though. Next up, Gertrude's cat. Bought some sardines and then went to start the quest. I hopped the gate into the sawmill, searched a crate and found a kitten, then gave it back to its mother. And that was another quest complete, but now I had a kitten to take care of. So I took it for a few laps around the rooftops, fed it sardines, lifted a clue scroll out of my bank, got a hot and cold device, and then I got sidetracked into completing the Shield of Arrow quest. I chose Phoenix Gang, then had to go back to Reldo. Kept entertaining the stupid cat, got into a bar fight, I had a bit of an unfair advantage here because I brought a sword, but I won, buried his bones to hide the evidence, traded this guy a key for half a piece of paper, then put it together and handed it into the king. Then straight back to this clue scroll, dug in the wheat field, got step two, spun around for my casket, and it was worth about 2k. Meh. I took another break to mine a star while trying to keep this cat happy and deciding what to do next. I figured dwarf cannon would be good, so I TP'd, made my way over, had to fix these railings, which took a very, very long time. But eventually, I was able to finish this quest. Now I can use the cannon and join in the almighty Falador riots. Great. This day started by me pulling the lever and heading into the wilderness and going straight back out again. But that was the last thing I had to do for the huge reward that is the arty cake. Look at me putting on that fancy little fashion piece. That is lovely. I should have done that well before now, but anyway, we're moving on. We're moving to Varric specifically because I needed to spend my hard earned winter tall money on buying air runes and mine runes. Meanwhile, I'm still looking after this cat, feeding it and stroking it. But then I picked it up and banked it so I could fill my inventory full of cakes because I'm going to go and start the witch's house quest. I am more than slightly terrified for the fight here. So I watched a video and marked the tiles that I apparently needed for safe spotting. I went to get the key to go inside but I had to drop a cake to get it. Next I had to search this cupboard to take the magnet and I had to leave another cake behind. I put some cheese in front of this tiny hole and coaxed out a mouse. A magnetic mouse apparently which magically opened this door and then i ran around the garden to get a key from the fountain and back to the shed ready for the fight i made my way into the safe spot and tried attacking but it came over and it attacked me the safe spot i was on wasn't working so i walked out back in again i had to eat some cake it came out again and now it seems to work okay that's fine but then i had the same issue with the spider i'm genuinely terrible at pvm the second safe spot worked fine though so i could kill the rest of them easy enough i grabbed the ball and left that place to finish the quest and seeing as I was feeling ballsy after completing that fight, I was going to do jungle potion next. So I game tallied to Castle Wars to pick up some free anti-poisons nearby. I'm being frugal as fuck so I've picked up almost a full inventory of them here. Then I caked up, ready to take on the terrors of Broomhaven. I used my arty cape for the very first time, took the boat to Brimhaven. I started the quest, I searched for snakeweed in the marshy jungle vines which took bloody ages because of my miserable herb lore level. I tried a different vine and about 5 minutes later I eventually had what I needed. I took it back to the truffles guy, ran through the spinny bug swarms and when I got to the tree I immediately got what I needed this time. Ran back, ate cake, took it to truffles. I searched in the dirt for a herb, cleaned the herb, returned the herb, repeated that again, and then back to the bug swarms, entering the cave, sprinting past these scary looking things, searching the wall, securing the herb, seeing truffles again, and finishing the quest. Now I've finally had more herb lore levels and I could finally complete that damn dig site quest. So I went straight to Varric, mixed together this weird little concoction, entered the gates to hell, planted some sort of chemical bomb thing here, and ran the heck away while it blew up. 
stole the stone tablet and then finished that damn dig site quest once and for all. Finally finishing the dig site quest means I've unlocked the ability to clean rocks. So I spent some time in the museum doing that. But completing the arty diary has left me eager for more. So I'm going to tick off some tasks today. Starting with the Falador easy diary, pumping water into a bucket, visiting the hairdressers, killing a duck, sprinting past the scorpions, tender the mine for the first time, and fix this wheelie big thing here. I got a picnic ready for a trip to Entrana. And then I realized I couldn't finish the diary because it was locked behind quests I hadn't completed yet. So I took a small break instead and decided to get my combat level up. So I hit this punching bag for a while, then I moved on and hit this one. I threw in a few cows and a spider for good measure. And then I just decided to go ahead and start on the Lumbridge and Draenor Easy Diary. The first thing I had to do was kill a zombie living in the sewers. Then I had the bigger task of crafting water runes, which required a water talisman. I killed water wizards to get one, but this went horribly wrong. It was healing quicker than I could even attack it. Well over five minutes in and I'd actually only killed two. I changed my tactics a bit and started using mage instead. It went much quicker now. But it still took me 20 minutes to kill 14 wizards. But on the 14th I got the drop I needed. Nearby I stopped off to buy a spiny helmet so I could safely get into the lumbridge swamp to kill a cave bug. But I couldn't even wear it because I didn't have five defense. So I got myself my first slayer task which was to kill 24 cows which my twitch chat had a lot to say about. I got the five defense that I needed for now and then peaced out, put my helmet on, went in into the swamp hole and killed a cave bug. Well, I tried to. I swapped a mage again which seems to work much better for me at the minute and that was that done. The last thing was to enter the water altar but my chat peer pressured me into completing the enter the abyss quest first which meant that I had to enter the wildy. Somehow I managed not to get PK'd here and I finally made the water runes I needed to fully complete another easy diary. After that I finished my cow slayer task. Meanwhile, I'm still looking after this cat that I got in the last video. After killing the 24 cows, that was my first ever Slayer task completed. I continued on with my day of diaries with some Varric easy quests. I needed to go to the Earth Altar this time, so back to the wizards I went. This is getting me some decent mage XP at least, but it's taken a while. I'm hopping to a different world in between each wizard because that's going to speed things up for me. But as I was hopping this time, my bloody memes must have ran out because I was locked out. I had to go on to 301, but the next kill got me what I wanted anyway. On the 14th wizard again too. And then I realized something. Where the hell is my cat? And I genuinely don't think it could have got worse than this because look how close my cat was to growing up. If I had have hopped seconds later, my cat would have been grown up when I hopped. I lost the entire progress by less than a minute. What the absolute... I am so mad about it. I tried to move on from this and do the earth altar thing, but it didn't work. I thought I used the wrong essence, so I tried again and it didn't work this time either. That's when I realized that this was a freaking pay to play thing and I didn't have any more bonds. I went to Varric West Bank to think about my options here, but I guess I accidentally clicked on the stairs because I entered some underground basement that I didn't even know existed and apparently walked in on some kind of cult initiation. But this was the most interesting thing I've seen on RuneScape so far, so I decided to stay for a while and watch this madness. I even partook in the initiation process myself, which was a three question quiz resulting in a bond. Just what I needed. And I had Twitch chat on my side here, which was good because I have absolutely no RuneScape knowledge myself. Right, question one. What item can be used to make a toxic blowpipe? I don't know. Chat says fine. Fine. Is that right? Grass? Okay, we're good. Question two. What quest is needed to access the corrupted gauntlet? Uh, uh... Song of the Elves. Okay, chat's doing well. One more question and I get a bond. Right, question three. What runecrafting level is needed to create eternal bots? Chat says 66, so here goes nothing. Wrong? It's wrong? Chat, what the f***? Well, I guess that means no bond and no cult. Maybe that was for the best. I stuck around to see if anyone actually won this game and was incredibly distracted by this person pretending to be a frog. I decided to rivet right back at them and then bam, I had a bond in my bank. I redeemed that bond and then completed the earth altar task, geared up for the stronghold to finish the diary. And I thought that would be me for the day, but chat peer pressured me into finishing the entire stronghold of security. And after their display in the cult quiz, I shouldn't have listened to them, but I went along with it anyway. Even though I hesitated at every single door, eventually had all four levels completed and I was faced with an intense choice here. Fancy boots or fighting boots? I like the fighting ones better, but I genuinely think my Twitch chat would have disowned me if I took them. So I went for fancy. And anyway, that was the Varric Easy Diary finish too. And that was absolutely enough for one day.
So if you watched the previous episode, you'll know exactly why I'm on my way to Gertrude right now. I've got to pick up a new kitten, or so I thought. She's flipping charging me for it. I had to go back to the bank to lift the cash, and finally had the replacement that I needed. I took it for a few laps around the Varric rooftops, and then I decided to start Client of Karend. But I didn't have a feather, so I had to kill a chicken, and then I ran towards the dock at Port Sarum, making sure to feed and stroke this cat as I went. Then I hopped on the boat to Karend and spent ages running around this whole island to complete the quest. And since I was here anyway, I decided to do some small jobs to get favour in Osidius. I pushed these branches around the farm, plowing the fields, filled buckets with some salt that I had from Todd, but she wants 980. 18 buckets and I have 19 to give her. That's grim. I spent ages doing the same thing over and over. Dig, run, dump, run, dig, run, dump, run. Then I went to the beach bank to fill my salty buckets up and back to hand them over to her. What felt like ages only got me 81 buckets and 18.2% favour. I plowed a few more fields and then started a new quest. Queen of Thieves forced me down into the sewers to see some hidden sewer city. Then I committed a small murder and headed back to the sewer city. Back above ground I had to break into this chest and then down here again to finish the Queen of Thieves quest. Staying in Karend, I made my way over to start Depths of Despair. I searched in this library for far too long to find a book, skimmed it and then found a cave full of crabs, killed one, crossed the river, entered a hole, found a snake, then realised I had to fight it. It only hits three though, I'm not too worried about it. Chat told me I had it safe spotted anyway though, I didn't even realise. Maybe one day I'll get the hang of this PVM stuff. The quest was completed so I'm happy. I bought some buckets and went back to the salt mine because I want to get the favour up so that I can do that cooking thing. I spent about 20 minutes there and then I filled 150 buckets, brought those back to the clerk which got me up to 45% favour and finally I could enter their kitchen and cook some pies. Meat pies were up first and then I could do stew. I love the XP drops that you get in this little kitchen so I stayed here for a while until I had 32 cooking and 82 favour. Then I went to pocket some fruit for the thieving XP and I don't know if I needed to or not but I banked the inventories. Then I decided to finish the city's favour in the kitchen. I don't fancy leaving Karen just yet so I'm going to do some diaries next. First I made the long trek to this mine, then I took myself fishing in the river mulch, decided to use this book that I got to TP me to Hesidius so I could kill a goblin thing and get a limpwort root that was needed to create a strength potion in the pub. On the way there I prayed at the castle altar, then I had the genius idea to attack this lesser demon not realising that these guys would attack me. I ran like hell out of there. Then I tried the library again and even with this plugin I couldn't find what I needed. I spent like half an hour checking all the bookcases here. I gave it to the guy and decided I'm never going back there again. I made the potion in the pub, healed some soldiers, took a trip to Land's End and then the last thing in the diary I couldn't do because I need 25 construction levels to enter my house in Hosidius. Well that's great, guess I know what I'm doing next time. 15 days in and I have only completed one Slayer task. That feels a bit miserable so I'm starting today by getting my second task and it's 29 rats. I said I was going to get a slayer task, I didn't say anything about doing it, instead I'm going to procrastinate with a thieving garden. There's a really great plugin that you can get for here that shows you when you need to run to the next safe square, but I was only half paying attention so I definitely got chucked out a few times. I collected enough of the tree fruit to make four juices and threw in a couple of herbs for good measure. Then I took my juice to Osman who gave me 5,400 thieving XP in return. Not bad. Next I started the Hazel cult quest. I spoke to Clivet, had to poison the soup cooking on the stove, spin five sewer valves around and then had to ask this guy for a lend of his raft to surf through the sewers just so I could talk to this guy who wanted me to get a scroll for him. Then back through the cave, into the sewers, I swear half the people in RuneScape lived down here, gave the scroll to the guy who used it to resurrect Hazel and that was the quest completed. Next up was the clock tower quest. Down this ladder, poisoned the rats, let them die, got the cog, to be honest, I think killing those rats should have counted for my slayer task. Anyway, I went down a different ladder and found more rats, so I decided to do the task while I was here anyway. It didn't take too long because most of the rats only took one or two hits. And once I'd killed 29 of them and completed my second ever slayer task, I moved on with the quest. Collecting my second cog, running through fire for the third, past ogres for the fourth, and that was my second quest of the day complete. Third quest was murder mystery. I went to this castle and couldn't figure out who to talk to. That was probably because I was in entirely the wrong place. I made my way more north and spoke to the guard. I had to do some investigating to find out who the killer was and then handed over my information. And that was another quest ticked off the list. 
fishing contest was my fourth quest of the day. I had to sneak through this fence. I tagged these dogs because they could potentially kill me here. And then I tried to sneak past them to collect some red vine worms. And then back past the dogs again to make my way outside the fence. I entered the area for the fishing contest, stuck some garlic in a pipe, caught a fish, handed it in and won the trophy. Handing over the trophy here completed the quest and allowed me to access the tunnel under White Wolf Mountain now. I made my way over to Vark for the fifth quest of the day, which was the Knight's Sword. But I needed two iron bars. I couldn't make them with my six smithing levels. I needed 15. I hit copper rocks for a while until I filled my inventory up, then took them over to Edgeville, swapped some for tin ore that I had in my bank already, and made some bronze bars at this fireplace. Once I'd made all that I could with the tin and copper that I had in my bank, I used an anvil and varrock to make some bronze skims. After a bit, I changed it up to bronze warhammers, and after finishing that, I had 11 smithing levels. Near enough, so I hit rock a few more times, some tin rock, then copper rock. Then back at the Edgeville fireplace, I made more bars bars, then whacked the bars, made warhammers, then I did one more inventory of the rocks and the bars, and then I had 15 levels. So I made the two iron bars that I needed, went to see Thurgo, called into Falador, searched a cupboard, stuck my gear on, climbed down this ladder, sussed this place out for a little while to try and figure out the path that I should take against these ice giants and ice warriors. Didn't even notice this guy coming over to attack me. I called in some reinforcements, well Jam kindly offered to help me here. I hit the blue rock, got what I needed, climbed back up the ladder, went back to Thurgo, got the shiny sword, handed it in and completed the quest. And my smithing shot up to 31. At this point I decided it was time to get a new slayer task again. This time I had to kill 16 monkeys. No procrastination this time though. I teleported straight to Artie, geared up with range this time, killed a few monkeys. I know I need to get my range up at some point but this is taking forever so I switched to mage again. Killed all the monkeys that I had to and completed my third slayer task. I went straight back to the slayer master and got my fourth task. 22 wolves. Without hesitation, I went straight to the stronghold of security, killed eight wolves with my sword, then finished the rest off with mage, and completed my fourth slayer task. But I still can't get points until I complete my fifth one. So I went back to the Slayer Master again, but I didn't make a quick stop on the way this time to do the clue scroll that I got at Wolves. It was a one and done anyway. I got the casket and inside it, it was a steel axe and a staff of air. Okay, let's go and see what my fifth task is. 36 dogs. A bit scared of that one. I think I'll leave it for a while. <laughs> So day 16 started by going to Yanil to grab a bird snare from the shop there. I bought box traps by mistake though. I'll probably need them for something at some point anyway. I used Raider's Blessing to get to the Karen Woodland, popped a bird snare down and waited around for it to catch something. It took a while but eventually I started catching some birds and soon enough I had the 10 hunter levels that I wanted. I stuck around a little longer though and I tried to talk to the birds to see if it would help catch them but it actually made it worse. Then I went to start my first quest of the day, Goblin Diplomacy. I grabbed three different sets of goblin meal and used dye on two of them. Then I spoke to War Face. I watched his fashion show and then that was literally the quest completed. I took my crafting levels to 18. My second quest was Lost Tribe. I spoke to a few people in Lumbee, made a large hole in the wall here, entered the hole to pick up a brooch. I read all about goblin symbols in the Varric Library, then spoke to Warface again, entered the hole again, made my way through this big tunnel which took absolutely ages to get through. Luckily I had a blue line to follow. I spoke to Mistag on the other side who teleported me right back to the start. Then I found the ham hideout, went inside to search a crate, stole some of their silverware. Then I was back in the tunnel but not now I can fast travel through it which is handy. I spoke to Miss Tag again and then I watched the Dorgerson Treaty get signed. And that was the quest completed and it gave me the almighty ring of life. It went straight onto my finger. Back in the goblin village to free the goblin generals for the recipe for disaster subquest, I went down the ladders, spoke to the goblin cook, then ran away like the clappers from this exploding cauldron, and then tried to use some of the slot on wart face or bent nose, but it wouldn't work. It took me flipping ages to realise that I actually had to give it to the ones that were frozen in the castle. So I did that and finally the quest was completed. That didn't really feel like enough for one day though, so I headed back through the hole, travelled through the tunnel, started the death to the Dorgishin quest next. Back through the hole again and a little goblin called Zanuck was waiting for me in the basement. I needed to grab him a set of hand robes though, so back I went to the ham hideout and I wish I could say that this went quite quickly but it literally took me half a bloody hour to get all seven pieces. After I got the full set I snuck a goblin into the hideout and down a sneaky trap door and then the goblin killed all the guards down here for me but then one of them caught him spying and chucked him out of the hideout. So I took little Zanuck through the basement hole, made another hole and handed him to the snake lady. She made me catch some of this wall juice and then use it to resurrect the goblin. Then Zanuck and I went back through both holes and I hid Zanuck in a box to carry him down this ladder. I needed him to help me kill the guards here but it didn't start off very well. I thought Zanuck would 
to block them from attacking me here. But thankfully I found a way to my safe spot without dying. And I was able to kill both of these guards here. And I'm not sure if much, but I think I had to kill that third guard before I started to kill Sigmund. So I ran out to try to kill him, but he followed me. This is a terrible spot to do this. I tried to lure Sigmund further away, but it was useless. I ended up just tanking some hits for a while while killing the guard. But it was getting far too close for my liking. So I ran back to the boxes so I could heal myself up with some cakes. And then I went back for the last hit, but it wasn't enough. One more hit surely kills him. And it did. Okay. Now it's just us and Sigmund. And my safe spot was working. So this was easy enough, which I was glad of after that mess. We got rid of Sigmund. I hit 28 magic levels. Smashed some Jolin machine. And Zanuck brought me to the head of the cave goblins. And the quest was completed. And after that quest, 16 days into this game, I am finally base tens. I made my way to the Dorgish Can City. So I could pickpocket one of these guys and get the bullseye lantern. Then at the gem trader, I bought an uncut sapphire. Cut it for the crafting XP and use that on the lantern. Lit it and now I can do the Tears of Guthix quests. But maybe next time. Every time I log back onto this game, I have no clue where I left it the last time. I spent ages bank standing just trying to figure out what to do today. I ended up taking my ham robes out and a lot of shrimp with the aim of heading down into the ham hideout and pickpocketing the guards in the dungeon to get keys. These keys could unlock chests and it seemed to be a good way to get free loot. So after I got them, I used my bronze ones first. Chest 1 had 25 coins inside. Chest 2 three coins. Chest three had a ruby ring, sapphire amulet and a sapphire necklace. Next up I had five silver keys and in chest one I had a gold ring, chest two 80 coins, chest three sapphire necklace, sapphire amulet, sapphire ring and an emerald. Chest 4, 61 coins, and chest 5, 52 coins. My one singular iron key got me a sapphire amulet, sapphire necklace, sapphire ring, and a sapphire. And I had three steel keys. Chest 1, 91 coins. Chest 2, an emerald ring, sapphire amulet, and sapphire necklace. Chest 3, 58 coins. I don't think I'll be going back there in a hurry, to be honest. But I got some gems and some new jewelry to add to my bank. I really want to work on the easy diaries at the minute. But I need a mind talisman to complete the Falador easy diary. So I keep telling you the already to find some imps to kill. The drop rate for the talisman I need is better on imps than wizards apparently. But I've killed 36 imps so far and not got one. And it didn't take me long to remember why I hated killing imps. At least they don't do any damage to me. I don't want to keep wasting cakes. It's a 1 out of 18 drop rate here. And at this point I've killed 45 to date. I genuinely started to wonder if I was at the wrong imps. But imp 47 was kind enough to drop the talisman when he died. And on the way to Falador I stopped at a cake stall to get some free cake. I banked a full inventory of that and that took me up to 71 cakes. I feel like I still need more than that so I'll come back here soon. The final thing I needed was a silver bar. I contemplated whether I should steal it or buy it. I waited for the right moment and then I went in for the steal but I couldn't even steal it until 50 thieving so I guess I'm buying that instead. I took the boat to Remington and headed into Falador. I smelted some blue right and then went to smith it along with the tiara that I needed and this is the moment that I realized I needed a tiara mold which you can buy in Remington where I just was. I smithed the limbs to get that out of the way then went all the way back to get the tiara mold stopping for some go faster sweets on the way. Bought the tiara mold and every single mold that shop have for sale. Screw running about for that again in the future. Back into Falador to use the furnace because I learned that you don't actually smith a tiara, you smelt it. And I couldn't do it without 23 crafting. Two and a half crafting levels above what I currently have. So I cut the gems that I could from my bank. I lost three out of four jades. Turned to chat at this point and told me about soda ash and sand. I'd need about 90 to reach level 23. So I free game tallied and bought this shop's complete stock of sand and ash. I hopped to get a shop with some stock again. Bought all of theirs too. Nine hops and shops later I bought a glass blowing pipe, lumbi tallied, shot my very first canoe tree and took it to Edgeville and there I made some molten glass. 21 crafting, 22 crafting and finally 23 crafting and now I can make that tiara. I took a canoe, entered the runes, made the mine tiara, entered Falador, found out that my crest was a symbol of Varak and finally I could collect my rewards for completing the Falador easy diary. Just over an hour after setting out to get the one last little item that I needed for it. Nice. Next up, I remembered that I could do the Tears of Guthix quest now. I forgot all about it. So I got what I needed for that, entered the hole, then came back out because my strength level is the lowest skill and I don't want my Guthix points going in there. I hit a few spiders with my wooden spoon until my rune crafting level had the lowest XP. Then I entered the cave holes, got carried over a huge black hole, which I was very worried was going to lead me right into my death, hit a rock, made a bowl, talked to a snake and completed the quest. And now I could do Tears of Guthix for the first time. I held my new bowl up to the blue walls, then walked out and drank the blue juice. Now I had 13 crafting levels. At this point I had 637 levels and I wanted to log out on a round number so I fletched the logs I had in my bank, shot spiders with arrows to help my range and then it was either attack or thieving next and the spiders were closer so attack it was. And with that I had 640 total levels and there I can log out happy enough for tonight.